following podcast is recorded and produced by Emerge Media Creators Co-op in affiliation with the network at BICBB-radio.com. Welcome to another episode of the 716th Attack Legion podcast. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Clone Wars. And with me, as usual, is the Legion themselves. We have Julian. Oh, that's not. <laughs> See, there he is. We have Julian. We have Jack and Christian. And behind the scenes, Rich, as usual. And we greatly appreciate all your help uh, and making sure that this is as successful as it can be. And by as successful as it can be, I mean dealing with our shenanigans. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> so, on today's episode, we're talking Clone Wars. Seven seasons of greatness. Mm-hmm. Oh, amazing. Or maybe six and a half. Um, so, to start it off, let's talk about the best arc. Siege of Mandalore. No question. Yeah, I think that's almost like a default, though. Like, I, I almost feel like you don't count. Like this, <laughs> you can't Lord. count the best. No, because like it's like because it's at the end. It's the culmination of like multiple arcs of like the Fives arc of Ahsoka's arc of like uh, Mandalorian arc. Just the entire show. Yeah, itself. I mean the Mandalore. Yeah, the Mandalore plot, the Maul arc, like all, all of the, that. The siege of Mandalore. Hey, Julian, you want to move that helmet? <laughs> You're really blocking their shot. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, Anyways, it's fine. Um, so I disagree with you. Really? That's not the best arc, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I think I know what you're gonna get, go with. I, I, I hope you're there's one arc I'll agree say. with you on potentially. Go All right, Christian, what what arc do you think is the best? Uh, I think you, given what you seem to be interested, in, the Battle of Umbara. Yes. That was what I was gonna say. The Battle of that Umbara is, is so if good. we're being honest, like that arc is probably it's the best. One of the best. But, that the siege of Mandalore is like all right, this is pretty dope, and like, mm-hmm. but we like you ha- kind of have to have that. Yeah. Whereas like the the Umbarans is like it does not have to yeah. be there, oh. and it's there, and it's so good. Yeah. Siege of so Mandalore well also gets a boost with its like interaction with uh, Episode Three and with the just that it's the best little show ever looked was so, that, those final. Well, because it was all yeah. mocap. Yeah. So it wasn't all mocap. Most of it. All the combat scenes with that involved a lightsaber were mocap. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, let me get technical. Anyways, I mean, not... the I thought Umbara, the Umbara arc was the best because it doesn't show the droid army like like it's showing that there is people in the galaxy that genuinely do not want to be a part of the Empire. Mm-hmm. And then you get the most the who what what I'm dead. New Republic. Wow, just the old Republic. Republic. I'm just gonna shut up. No, now. it's just the I'm Republic. Just shut up. <laughs> The old Republic is something else. The it new was, Republic. My is mind was else. going to dark side with Pankrell, so I was already in the Empire <clears throat> yeah. state of so mind. So they anyway. Let's <laughs> see what I did there. That's that's the soundtrack for, for so they, Star Wars. <laughs> but it's like the 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 best part about that whole arc is that the, it's they're they're like the one species that they actually interact with in the entire show mm-hmm. that you're like, oh my God. Yeah, you get like Geonosians a little bit. But yeah. But you also, for the Geonosians fight with the clones, the same, uh, not with the clones, with the droids next to them. Like yeah. this is an entire race that like is defending their own planet. Um, and we're just and there. With like, their we're, own weird we're the technology bad guys. as well. And it's very much like the Vietnam like episode, like arc. Like it's very like they're, they're boggled down. Like the attrition rate for the clones is like worse than we've like ever seen. And obviously yeah. like that later on. But even like before Pong Krug gets there, like when Anakin's on the ground for the first episode, like it's not an easy time. Like they have to make a like a harsh landing. Yeah. Uh, in, like, uh, you really see the, the mm-hmm. morale is suffering, yeah. the fatigue, <clears throat> at which was kind of something I had a thought of the other night as I was planning out these talking points is, how did the clones sleep on the battlefield? 
It never really I would assume about like any military. Yeah, the same military. way they do I it in just, war. I mean, like, it's... no, I mean, I get it. Don't get me wrong. I get it. But I'm just like, it's, it's never shown. So I'm like, oh, we're just, okay. That's not, I don't know if that's entirely true. They have like them like camping and stuff like that. But I mean, but I meant like they don't show them like putting up tents or anything. Yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just kind of assumed. In the first arc of Clone Wars, you see them make a camp, like with Yoda. But that's not like, that's not what I mean. Because he would, let me rephrase. Let me take a step back and rephrase. What I mean is military troops going into combat, we establish bases, we establish, you know, tent city. Or yeah, before yeah, yeah. we get to hard shelters mm-hmm. and stuff like that, you never see the clones go in there and roll up with Tent City. They went into the Umbara, then they get to the capital city, and they're like, "Oh, we're just gonna." Sleep. To be fair, they did have a very tactical thing because uh, I can't <clears throat> stuttering. Uh, they have obviously the Klon Krell wants them to like, go towards the capital at first, like march right down the main street, which obviously we learn yeah. is like Suicide. on purpose later on. But um, but after a while, they realize they can't even get there, and that Obi Wan's like forces are like bogged down with like air support, so they have to go and capture like the like the air like base so then then they set up their like basic command there and there's barracks right they take what was there so i like how tactical this episode like does feel in comparison to some of the other battles i think well and that was the that was the point i was going to make is that like it really that that whole arc goes is like a really big character moment Mm -hmm. for the entirety of the clones it's like all of the clones sort of gain a lot of independence there by saying Mm -hmm. um we don't really give a shit about what this guy says like we're trying to do the right thing so we're gonna do the right thing anyway like that's their first massive moment Mm-hmm. Where they're like, okay, we are a collective, and we're gonna. do I think this. it's also the, if I remember correctly, like I think it's the obviously the the clones we fall most are the five of the first, and like a lot of these yeah. characters are, uh, character. A lot of them are introduced in this arc as well of the characters that become like really well liked. I think Kix and like Jesse might even be like introduced. Yeah, in this Jesse, arc. Jesse I think, um, is in there. Hard right? Case is one of my favorite clones. He's only in a couple of these episodes. Uh, is in this arc as well. Um, but I think this is the most we have like of named clones, like all. Interacting with one another. Yeah, it's like six. You get the main group. It's like six or seven. I think it's a main group of six or seven best friends, and it's just like it's all of them. Jesse Dogma, who's like very much who's dogmatic. Like that's a little on the nose, but like he's (laughs) the one that like follows orders like super. And there's a nice variety of like. Personality and individuality you there. Back to watch this the is arc, also like uh, everyone has like their anyway, their own designs it? now by this point, like so like intrinsic to their armor, like and they all have like each of these clones is a very different personality. Like one's a medic, and they show that like a, a ton in this arc as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, you have like Rex, who's like struggling being the leader and leading his like soldiers following his own orders, trying to um, be a good soldier, exactly. but also trying to support his own troops. I think the main thing though follow is follow orders because even I. I always thought a little bit that Paul and Krell, like, doing it on purpose, like, is a bit of, like, a cop-out. But if you look at, it, like, what they say in the episode, like, even before this arc and even before, like, that vision, which I think his vision is only slightly before, like, this this arc, yeah. he, he still has the highest attrition rate of all the clones. So, like, this guy, so swapping out the 501st for, like, not that Anakin doesn't have the 501st do crazy like not tactically sound like safe missions but he gets in the front and he like they say they literally say that in these episodes that Anakin leads his troops into battle during those scenarios where it's like switching out Anakin for a different Jedi where not every Jedi actually even viewed their clones as like people it's, necessarily yeah and it's it <clears throat> that's that's what i mean by character development is that they they really like <clears throat> not only is it character development for the clones mm-hmm. but it's also character development for like Every, like everybody, I mean, mm-hmm. Anakin comes back and he's like, "What the fuck? Yeah, what? 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 Why? Why did? What? What's going on here?" But then you you sort of see that conflict in Anakin, but he's like, "Yeah, but he is a Jedi, so like we kind of have to do what he says." You know what I mean? And that's like, mm-hmm. and then you have Rex, who Rex pisses me off in this arc a little bit. on purpose, but orders. they do it on purpose, which mm-hmm. is that he's he's Rex, so he he's has to be between two. Like, he's got to be the authority over all of them. And he's like, yeah, we have to do what Skywalker said. And he said that we kind of have to listen to this guy. Yeah. And then you could see the conflict in him. But then you've got, <clears throat> I think it's I think it's Fives. Fives and, is my fa- favorite uh, clone. Fives, Fives is also is my favorite clone. Favorite. But Fives and Hard Case, I think, are the two that, they're the two yeah, that Yeah, they're the two the, most rogue. And they're the they're most. They're the ones that get the, the ships, Yeah, right? they're like, get the <laughs> ships. And so the, the two of them, mm-hmm. they're like, they're like, Echo's Hell no! Echo's gone by this point, actually. I yeah, think. Jesse's yeah. with them. Jesse's with them. They have Jesse. I thought Echo was the one who pushed the bomb into the ship. Well, no, that's the that ships. is that is a that's a that's the that's the arc where they go to uh, rescue. Yeah. Um, they go to rescue. Um, 
No, I have it in the back. The one, the earlier. one Jedi. Right? That's Hard Case. Um, he had a leak in his tank, and Hard Case is the funniest. The funniest <laughs> fuck. He is he's, the best. he's just he crazy. The best. Like the entire time, he's just itching to shoot. Shit. No, Echo Echo's like, arc ends with uh, when the, when they the go Citadel. to rescue um, at the Citadel rescue. At the Citadel, yeah. when they go to rescue. Um, what makes what his is his name? Back. Even PL. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and Tarkin. And and Tarkin, which don't even get me started on him. He was so stupid and filler in that episode. But anyway. Um, but yeah, so like, I love that, that, that arc is probably the best character wise, mm -hmm. but I think me personally, my favorite arc that I liked watching the most was Ahsoka's arrest. I mean, oh, seriously, really good I have never cried more. I've yeah. never been more attached to an animated character in my life than you that watched episode. that for the first time recently. Like the episode where they're chase, where Anakin, Anakin himself is chasing her down mm -hmm. yeah, and you're a, just mm -hmm. like. I'm like, and he knows, he knows, he knows too. He's like, I know I'm wrong, but I got to get her. Like he, because he's like, it's like a, it's like a Din yep. and Grogu situation. He's like, I can't let her get away. Cause if I let her get away, they're going to kill her. I got to yep. figure it out. He's and like, so you really yeah, see I, that I, dad I, scenario. Yeah, I, and again, let me comment on it real quick and I won't say too much, but I, I thought that was, arc was tremendous because I didn't expect any of that. Again, I'm not, I mean, I've only now kind of finished up clones and I, I never watched it really in order either. So that that is just heartbreaking that whole series of stuff and obviously i already knew it was going to happen so i can't imagine watching it in real time like when you didn't realize that she was going to be leaving the show i mean she didn't really leave it's they just stopped anime drawing her <laughs> but i mean but then the other one that's amazing to me and then i'll shut up this that episode but the the, the jedi of uh, the yoda going to the Dagobah. last like the, oh the yeah season six finale I, arc it's I mean, such I, a good arc because yeah. it's the end of what we thought was the end of the show. And it changes, like, the perspective of, like, Yoda almost... Yoda's purpose at the end of that arc, it becomes... Well, like, he doesn't know it yet, but it becomes, like, to protect and, like, train Luke Skywalker one day. And, like, that, that we've already lost. Like, Yoda kind of already... He doesn't think, think that maybe, like, automatically. But a part of Yoda, I think, already realizes that they've lost. Like, with by the end of those three episodes. And that, like, there's a new... So that this is coming to an end, whatever Well, I mean, is. like, yeah. technically, if you take it from what he says at the end of Attack of the Clones, mm -hmm. he already thinks that they lost. That's, yeah, because they're in point. a war. Mm -hmm. I have to admit that without the clones, it would not have been a victory. Victory? Victory, you say? Master Obi-Wan. Not victory. The shroud of the dark side has fallen. Begun. The Clone War has. Yeah, they shouldn't have never been there in the first place. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I think, um, like, there's so many arcs we could talk about, but the Ahsoka's arrest arc is just, yeah. <clears throat> and it's not even it's not even the being framed for murder thing. Mm -hmm. It's them. It's the process of all the hoops that they have to jump through for her to escape. And then she finally escapes, and it doesn't matter to anybody. Yeah. And to me, it's the, <clears> it's the fact the way that the Jedi only act. Like, that arc, for and more than anything, sells Anakin. Yeah. Yes. Fall. That's the most mm, important that makes piece, it, like, in it, all of that. It makes it makes Anakin's fall to the dark side even more Believable. Important. She like, really, like, she's, he goes, he goes, you have a chance. Take it. Please take it and come back with me. And you can tell in the acting. Like, it's an animated show, but yeah. you can tell. Like, I'm getting emotional thinking about mm -hmm. it. It's like they... He goes, it, it, you can see him, like, just come back. Just please, mm -hmm. don't, don't do this. If he you, also understands, And he kind of too. says to her, like, I mean, <clears throat> not, it's not overtly written in the dialogue, but you can tell by, like, the way that whoever his voice actor is, I can't remember his name. Uh, Matt Lander. Uh, Matt, Matt, uh, Matt, Matt Lander. Uh, He's Matt, my Anakin, by the you way. You can tell but his, mm -hmm. by his voice. He's just like, don't do this, it will kill me. If you leave, mm -hmm. it's going gonna, it's gonna to ruin everything for me. You can tell. And it just is so... Well, he feels like he so, failed her. Like, yeah, exactly. All that. And he tried and so hard. Like, like, so that's like, everything. Christian's brought this up, uh, I think, like, probably, lot, probably one of the lot. first episodes. Mm -hmm. But, like, ooh, um, <laughs> there's a deleted scene yeah. from one of the deleted arcs. There's a scene between Anakin and Obi-Wan oh where they God. sit by a fire. I was watching this before we got here today. <laughs> where they're sitting by a fire, and they're talking, like, Anakin, like, can't sleep. And Obi Wan's like, "There's nothing you could have done. Like, it it happened because it's supposed to happen." Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And Anakin's like, "How well would you sleep if you know that you failed me?" How well would you sleep knowing I failed you? Not very well, I imagine. Luckily, that isn't true, and never will be. Yeah. 
And yeah. like that's and Obi Wan pa- just doesn't he doesn't even respond because he's luckily what that'll saying. never happen. I think yeah. he says luckily so that'll, that'll never happen. happen. Which, like, that's fuck. such a powerful yeah. scene, dude. So they should, but the, that stuff they should have included. We didn't need the beginning of season seven where she goes but and also, she meets like, all those two mechanics. But also that I moment know. there is so the Cortez. Yeah, Jordan needs to say people something. People forget. People think that Anakin like hates the Jedi like in Episode like three. Like no, well Anakin like has hated the Jedi for a long time. Like, yeah. even before, like, his fall. Like, and, like, even before, like, all the Ahsoka thing. Like, he, like, what, we hate Mace Windu. Like, if, if you, if you watch Clone Wars and you watch episode three, you hate Mace Windu. And the moment of, like, because of what Mace Windu Listen, specifically, it's, it's like, I don't even talk about Of what out. Mace Windu did to, like, Ahsoka. He was the most harsh on Ahsoka of all. So, now the scene in the, the, the room where he has to choose between his friend, his mentor, Palpatine, who might be the Sith Lord, but to this to this point, like he like he's already lost uh, faith in the Jedi by that point. And then the other guy is the dude who represents everything that he thinks is wrong with the Jedi, Mace Windu, and the guy who personally like is disrespectful to him and like drove his Padawan right. like away. Have a seat, young Skywalker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Look, so Umbara, to me, was the mm. best arc. Oh, 100. I get selling. I get selling. Anakin and his fall and mm-hmm. his demise. No, I agree with Umbara, though. Mm-hmm. But I like Umbara, and you're right. It was hard case. I was wrong. It wasn't Echo. I thought I always get they all, they're yeah. close. They, they, all know, they, they get mixed up occasionally. Wow. Yeah. Well, like, I get like Jesse and like kicks mixed up occasionally. So. Um, so I liked Umbara because you get the taste that, you know, some Jedi were traitors mm-hmm. in regards to what the clones would see. So Order 66 at this point would make sense. And this is what we talked about this in previous episodes is what Order Six Order Sixty Six was designed for and the flaw that people think this is an instance where I say, okay, Order Sixty Six would have come into play. Where and it had somebody anyway. said, Hey, listen, or with Barris Offy, you get a Jedi who's fallen to the dark side yeah. or dark side attributes and they become Yeah, certain Jedi are much more protective and care for their clones significantly as people more. And like and then you have like someone like Luminara who isn't as harsh as say like uh, Pong Krell, but clearly will, is willing to sacrifice a clone, or Kathy Moon, do you literally like burns the oceans with flamethrowers? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's like, wow, well, that's, that's really Jedi like. That's really, <laughs> yeah, but at I mean, the same time, though, yeah. k- k- I, uh, Kiati Mundi, Kiati Mundi, thank you. This um, he he was very much respected by his clones yeah. mm-hmm. in, in his command, and so was Pong Krell, or not Pong Krell, yeah. Plo, Plo Koon. Koon in the wolf Plo pack. Koon. Yeah, that was, those guys. So are look, great. we get to these though, the and you start. see that I like Umbara <laughs> because you really see the dark side attributes of the Jedi falling mm-hmm. to the dark side, and also why Order sixty six is a justifiable action in an instance like this yeah. where it would make sense. Not every clone has some beautiful relationship with their Jedi master, like no. some do, like Anakin yeah. and like Rex, but in like they look up, but occasionally you get a Krell. Well, you get uh, yeah, the clones like with Deepa Palaba and mm-hmm. um, I probably said it wrong. Sorry, deal it's with close it. Enough. Yeah. Depa, Pretty close. Um, the um, when you see in the episodes of Bad Batch, it's mm-hmm. like you see that they're connected, and you see in Rebels like how upset that Kanan is because he's like they trauma, fought together yeah. for years and gunned her down in a second. In a second, and then you hear Rex saying, "Well, I didn't do that." Uh, but they, they retconned it that he tried to. But I I remember he failed. I remember <laughs> like, after that scene, so many people thought that Rex had taken out his chip prior to. Yeah. And there were so many memes where it's like, Captain Rex execute Order sixty six, and he's like, No. no. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so. That would have been. To be fair, what we got in that moment, it like, was beautiful. That is that's it's the best Order sixty six scene. It is. Like it just is. Like, so outside of a, a season oh, yeah, yeah, seven, yeah. Outside, with, with, with him and Ahsoka, with yeah. him and Ahsoka, and then even that moment where like they're able to bring the fives arc into it, where like he's only where, yes he's able to fight it because he has a relationship with Ahsoka, but I think he's also able to fight it because. Uh, you know, because Echo is not Echo because Fives Five. found out and like told him and like then obviously Rex did his own slightly amount of digging, but Rex finally connects that final dot like right there in that moment. And so uh, part of me, well, after they found out yeah. that it was corrupted and exactly. tough and they said it was a tumor. Which again, like my one of my favorite arcs is the Fives like or sixty six arc where he's That's where he's like too. where he's so loyal and he's like so like to the Jedi like he he like actually is pretty loyal to the Jedi. He's doing this. To try to save them, and he's like, was been the, dr- 
it Aside gets drove to be arrest, a criminal. That was probably the saddest. I've yeah, the ever rest yeah. is such a that sad. Was... And that's that's the one thing. That's the one savior about season six mm-hmm. that I actually enjoyed. Yeah. Because season five, Ahsoka leaves, and then you've yeah. got the beginning of season six, and you're like, this is kind of stupid. So like, yeah. Anyway, so next question, and then we'll because we, we'll probably we get into that. Get into that arc though, real quick, real quick, literally in like thirty yeah. seconds. Yes or no answers, please. Yeah. Do you think that we'll see Barris uh, being an inquisitor? I thought that, in no. the coming universe, or do you think we'll see more of her with the Ahsoka show? Nope. I think I don't think so. No, nope. Filoni said he has stories for Barris. To be fair, he nope. did. I don't care. I originally thought that the I thought she would be an Inquisitor. The fifth nope. sister, Barris who, is on. It, I don't. This, this might be Legends. Barris is on uh, Kashyyyk. During Order sixty six, in something I forget what it is, but like so it, I don't know how that fits into like the I news th- story and that all that's... that. But I just don't care about her. She had her story arc. She went nuts. Anakin fought her. They arrested her. Be done with it. I have don't. Heard... I don't need her anymore. I want somebody else. Bring me a new character okay. that's good. I've always liked that I she was Lumin- I've always liked that she was Luminara's apprentice, yeah. though. Yeah, that so, was cool. So I like the idea that like during this war they had all these child people, and yeah, so somebody like Anakin was able to keep her like actual uh, student a little bit more on the the straight and narrow than the actual dogmatic Jedi did. I have so. This will hopefully lead into your next question, which is that I have one gripe with the whole show Mm -hmm. is that it does not at any point feel like a three year span because it's uh, it it, like it's seven seasons. So it's seven. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I watched the show. I binge watched it this summer, this most recent Mm -hmm. summer. Every episode from the first episode to the last episode, I watched the entire show in like three weeks. And it still, to me, does not feel like three years. Yeah, they grow so much in that time. It makes I think no it just sense for it to be three like years. All over the well, place. you see, the and clones like... have this thing called accelerated glow. <laughs> I'm not talking I'm about. I'm just kidding. I'm talking well, about the I mean, characters, like... like Anakin. Like you see, Anakin is like a kid in the first season. Then by the time he gets to season seven, he's like. A man. A man I, was yeah. I think it's like they've been aged everything. by war. Because yeah, Ahsoka ages so much over like, the course of the series it, as well. Like, war feels Because Ahsoka, Ahsoka, Ahsoka and is the main a, character. And, and, if, like, and that, again, is to point out to weirdly, some stuff that Rich has said, sense. which is that, that like that's a mistake that they made when making the films that they really should have thought. But even as a kid, like watching episode two and then watching episode three, I did not get when you watched episode – when you watch episode two, like the – the actual film, and then you watch episode three. Like, I did not understand that it's only been three years. Yeah. I thought it had been like ten. So, when you look at and it just um, blows the my Padawan mind that age range, that. Star Wars is they always become, a bit weird. Like, but, even the idea that the Empire, like, it's obviously very established now. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, but, like, even the idea that the Empire was only around for 19 years before, like, the if like, I had a nickel, started, yeah. has always been pretty short. So, yeah. go ahead. So, if you look at it, though, uh, Ahsoka is about 13 years old. 14, 14 in the first season. Is it 14? Yes, uh, one of the two, yeah. It was 13 to 14, and, you know, she's 17 by the time she leaves the Order. Yep. Or Order 66 happens on the Siege of Mandalore. 17, 17 18. 17 by the last season. Yeah. Yeah, during the Siege of Mandalore. My point is, she, you can yeah. see the growth. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But No, I see um, the growth in the character. I just don't... So, it outside of... It sense the, that it only lasts that short of a time. Outside of clones. This is my next question. Outside of the clones, I'm going to start with Julian. Yeah. Okay, you have 30 seconds, no over-explanations. Okay. All of you, Christian. Mm -hmm. Um, Best character outside of clones from Clone Wars. Ahsoka. Like original or like... Just in general. Yeah, that was my question. We should should do another breakup for individual and the other one. But I think, yeah, Ahsoka would be my favorite, followed by Rex and It's it's, it's Ahsoka outside of the clones. Oh, outside outside of the clones. clones. Oh, it's definitely Ahsoka. Then uh, Hondo, then Ahsoka. Oh, yeah. Well, see, I would say Ahsoka. (laughs) But only like, yeah. Probably, I mean, in the show, my rank, I have four main characters that I genuinely like every time they're on screen I love them mm-hmm. so Ahsoka's number one I mean she's the best character in the entire show hands down then Anakin because of the development between the two then Hondo because yeah, Hondo's anything that Hondo's in you're just like okay this fucking guy is great and then Plo Koon they really went in on Plo Koon on the mm-hmm. show and he's I also connected it. to Ahsoka right Jack, he found her I, yeah this was like a very hard question for me because like you yeah. have to like, there's so many characters in mm-hmm. this show like you get you get so much depth for so many characters. Like you like Boba has his own arc. You have 
um, uh, Kit Fisto, who, like, we knew nothing about in Attack of the Clones, and, like, we got nothing in um, Revenge of the Sith, and, like, they take this one minute detail from him, like, smirking from taking down a battle droid, and they create this whole character from that. And, like... Oh, I, exactly, yeah. I mm-hmm. love his his arc against General Grievous where he loses his Padawan. That's probably a, an amazing... That's one of my favorite arcs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, there's story. so many different characters. Like, I... like. Ahsoka's obviously the best character of the show. And because certain characters have much more screen time than others. So because there's also guys that don't have too much screen time oh, yeah. that have like like and they're in like five or six episodes, so quick, maybe even less. Your top three, Jack. I I honestly don't have a top. Yeah, my top three. three is only like even my top three has only been given because those three uh, five Echo Ahsoka have like not Echo, I mean Rex, uh, have like the most amount of like screen time. Like they have so much screen time, even in comparison to a lot of All other right. side characters. So my. Not my yeah, favorite characters, but I think the best characters, because my favorite characters are different. Mm-hmm. My favorite characters, um, out of the show are usually the clones. But like you do, mm-hmm. like you said, you get the other guys. But the best, my favorite characters, Hondo. The best characters, though, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Corky Crees. <laughs> so what's the one little? Uh... What's the one little alien dude who leads all the? Oh, I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> when, they, when they all go, when they go into the void, I hate that. Those... And all the little astromechs. Yeah. The only thing good about that arc <laughs> is that R two's in it, and that is because R two's. So... Also, real quick, R two is such a fucking G in like the Clone Wars. <laughs> yeah, R two, like, is... he's so cool. He just beats ninety five percent of the problems. R two R2 is solved. R2 yes, exactly. R two like... is just you know like the the first twenty minutes of like the episode three. R two is just in that like mode that like chaotic like, chaos demon like like fight battle droid mode <laughs> like the series. entire series he's like a war hero by the end like, of it he's a he, veteran when, like, he's like, when he gets separated from anakin in the early seasons and he like has to make his way back goldie <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yes he kicks the shit out of goldie <laughs> i hate that character so much him and it's amazing <laughs> yeah because it sucked you know and ahsoka was annoying with it and called it goldie <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like R R two, forget it. Like R two in your top, your top three, in your top three characters in Clone. Even when, oh my god, the moment the whole R2 universe is over. over and even R2. so, like this goes back to my point. R two is, is like seven different arcs in this yeah. series. And these, alone. Have all, and these have been side moments in other they, things, but in the finale of like even that moment where like she says hi to R two. Like again, after it's been like years, like that that moment got me. Or even like in Mando, like or Boba Fett, when she like puts her hand like on R two, like after all that, like at that moment, like R2-y. it's so it's so in the side. R2-y. It's just, I want and her she, to call him that. So I know, bad live right? action, I would freak out. Like, anyway, R2- so wait, can I say one more thing? R two is such a significant part of Clone Wars that they gave him his own title. Like <laughs> it's the blue title. Anytime that there's a blue title, that means the episode has to deal R2-y. with R two D two. What did you go ahead, what Grumpy Puss? If I had a nickel. Um, you can't have a discussion podcast. That's the thing about Filoni, though. He loves his droids. He does. Yeah, he does. He just chopper. Proceed, I mean, proceeds to write a show about a man with hates he's droids. Yeah. They're all just so good. Chopper right. the war criminal. All right, Jordan. Yeah, that dude, he's all right, a Jordan. War kids, kids, Jordan has some stuff to say. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let Jordan it's go. Not, it's not that I can't have a discussion. It's just like every time I start a thought... <laughs> Christian jumps in. Well, I have to be like, no, I don't. Christian's only me. not been as It's not bad. only me. It's <laughs> Christian no. hasn't been bad this episode. So anyway, previous no, episodes. for real. My yes. serious favorite, the my the best character I actually think in this is Padme. I think she actually because real, you flush real out talk, like a, real talk. Yes. She's she's a beast. Like the poli- you see the politics side, but you see like when she spends time with Ahsoka and stuff like that. She's trying to show Ahsoka, look, there's more than just she's violence. A like she's, she's legit. Like you get to see. And you get you get a little bit more of this in the expanded uh, novels and stuff like that, especially the Thrawn novels, mm-hmm. where you hear about her going to um, Batu and blowing up a droid facility mm-hmm. with Anakin and Thrawn, and it's yeah. like, I think Padme gets her due in the yeah. in the show. She's like Leia in this. She's more akin to yeah. Leia, like the. Like and she's badass. She's like she's not. She's a senator. She's gonna discuss. Stuff. It makes but more when s- she has to pull out a blaster and do her thing. Like she is. She's ready to do it. And she's good. It makes more sense to me now in episode three. Like why she's so beloved and mm-hmm. stuff. Because then you're like, oh, she's not just one of these corrupt politicians. It's one of those. And she, she's actively working to stop the war in a lot of the arcs as well. Yeah. And she's actually trying to stop. I mean, she like, went to, um, with Ahsoka. She the went. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like. 
I actually Lux Von Terry is an underrated character as well. I was like, gonna I was about to say the the story between and I'm and I'm that is one that arc is one thing that I wish they would have done differently. Is I loved the Lux Von Terry and and Ahsoka relationship. Yeah. I wanted it to flourish even more than it already did. And I'm mad. I'm I'm very disappointed that they sort of just finished him off with the Saw Gerrera stuff. Yeah, the Steela thing was a little... It was like, the, he himself... Like, okay, I get what they were trying to go for, which was like they introduced Saw Gerrera and, and Steela and, and all that. So, well, yeah, exactly. So. But they... The so there was so much similar. more to the relationship between them mm. about the fact that she's a Jedi and he is like a Separatist. A separatist, yeah. And they, and they really do like... I mean, there's definitely a romantic esque yeah, relationship there, Most but I but I liked ass. that. I really wanted them to hone in on that, that some more, and they didn't. They just they they built up this really really good relationship, and then you mm -hmm. finally get to the point where he finally has a change of heart mm -hmm. during the Steela stuff, and is like, no, we should really listen to Ahsoka. She's right. Maybe mm -hmm. we should go about this a different way. They fi he finally has a change of heart in that whole scenario. And then we just never see him again. So, yeah. and it's so disappointing because yes. there was so much to like build there. Like if they brought him back in season seven, yes. Imagine like, if it was Lux instead of the fucking boat. The, what are the, the what's the, it called? The, sisters, the, the Martezes. The two mechanical sisters. Yes, it was just her yes. Lux sisters. The beginning. I agree with that. Perfect. Imagine if it was Lux. Yeah, that would have so been way better. Maybe yeah. we'll get this in Ahsoka. We don't know. To be fair, Lux does come back if, if you if you want. No, no. If you want more Lux, and I don't remember what the quality of this is, but the Battlefront two pre-novel yeah um there's a whole mission that like i had the versio and that whole crew go yeah. on and he they interact with an older lux Bonterra, oh. so like a rebel i think so, like, that would be cool but i want him and maybe he'll come yeah, back in ahsoka we don't know i also that is more lux if they you want him though. which so, now as discussing this i really like the obi-wan arc in this as well mm -hmm. which one uh, with the sabine stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh the satine oh yeah or satine not sabine satine's a great character god yeah i mean ever just the whole show the fact that you can see Obi-Wan's ex-girlfriend should not be as like was, interesting of a character as like she yes, is. Like, you know what I mean? this, was, like, this is my point. Like there's so, like you can't, there's like, so there's many good so arcs. many good arcs. There's so many good characters. Like the, I can't we haven't even talked about Mandalore stuff yet. I can't like, pick just So one. then we get into we all just discussed the crap out of our favorite arcs. But like seriously though, I think Padme gets what no, she, she deserves. I, right. I I think she gets her her um I think most characters that she gets are, her cake and gets to eat it too. Pre-existing get like I don't know very how much improved by the yeah the they, they yeah they they uh, they they take, do her do justice. Yeah, they take all the characters that think, you were just kind of got sidelined and now they so now have Anakin moments. obviously gets like redone completely and he becomes a completely different like more likable character. Sells I love. I mean, we, I, we talked about that in the past, so I won't tell. Obi Wan it gets like the VIP treatment. Yeah, I love Obi Wan. Like the, the troll master. Yeah, exactly, like troll master. <laughs> oh my! Like we already said R two Yoda. I think is really good in the series. Like he's used sparingly. But like when he does rear his head, like it's it's all I think it the adds arc to the character. in the Wills of the Force arc. Yes, exactly. Yeah, the end of season super six. amazing, and I love that yep. we Mark Hamill actually lent the voice for Darth Bane. Yep, mm -hmm. which I thought was awesome. Oh, yeah, um, there's so many good things. With the, 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 the show oh, is just show amazing. Is but so now we get into what clone character, Palpatine clone too, only character. Mm -hmm. I love that they brought them all back. Just side note. Uh, what oh my god! Actually, no. Darth Maul's my favorite character in the show. Like, it's, <laughs> I totally go. forgot. Darth Maul's my favorite. No, like, favorite, like, favorite, and best are different. Just remember that <laughs> Maul's my number two because yeah. you can't, you can't. Oh go yeah, wrong. like Darth Maul. They just I, 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 I said that you can't just pick one. Person. I didn't forget about there it. Is so Sam many, Witwer just did such a yeah. great there job. So and as the Emperor as well. Characters. Or not, it's the Palpatine when he did Palpatine too. So, but we get into now. Who's your favorite clone? Mm, that's a hurt. The best fives. The best clone? 100% fives. No, your favorite clone, the best not clone? the best clone. 99. Nine, yeah, 99. Nine. I think we all agree on that unanimously, that 99 is what the best clone. What a legend 99 is. Do you, did you forget who 99 no, is? No, I know who 99 is, and I love him, but like I feel he's like, like I feel like picking clone. 99 is just like, yeah. oh, no, well, he's yeah, a I, G because 99. he sacrificed himself. I like, cry every time. I love 99, but like his story arc is so short, and like, I, yeah. I, like, 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 he has his moment, and the reason he's good, and he's great for that moment, but that's really all he stands for. Other than that, like, it, I mean, Rex he's not is, the best clone. The I mean, Rex is clone, everyone's clone. The, no, nope, I disagree. The, the, come on. I mean, I like, love Rex, just, but I feel like the best clone is Fox. Like, 
His the whole story from the very first season Nobody all the way up until the end. I mean, from the very first season of the show all the way up until the moment Domino he squad. dies, it is the best. He has the best character arc, and he is the most aside from Rex. He's the him and Echo, yeah. which Echo no, I agree. obviously Fives gets killed. But Fives is the most fleshed out clone of any clone we've he's, seen because he's very show. similar to Rex as well. But he goes one step further because he's free to the shackle of like leadership. Right. Like guys, once all again, right, the rise yeah. and fall of Domino squad is so mm -hmm. good christian yeah. you, who's your favorite part favorite clone well, like favorite, i think my favorite got... rex all okay. right christian's rex or zach's rex christian uh i, I don't know that's uh, rex Jack, is like the stereotypical choice i corrected myself fives I, I don't even want to count like they're like fives and echo are like <laughs> the two clones that i have the most connection to echo as well especially like like i i'm one of the like i was like so so happy when like Echo like came back like alive. I'm sure everyone is like because oh, he's yeah. one of the dominoes. Like it's one of those like main. He's the Most last of the dominoes domino. are die pretty quickly. Like and obviously their promotion to Arc Trooper is like one of the the better like moments in the entire show. I think like after they defend Camino and like they're like basically on the little sniper spot, yeah. like marking the the tunnel and all that. I like Gregor, but um, Gregor Gregor is pretty good. But Gregor's I Gregor's a good he's one. He's in. The, I he's only in that like one moment though. If I had to pick one, like Hard Case, I really like in those two episodes that he's great. in. Um. From this is from Bad Batch, but like Mayday is like is Mayday like if I have to name a clone, character. I think Mayday in that one yeah, episode but he gets we're talking is Clone really Wars. good. I'm talking Clone Wars though. Clone Wars uh, only because exclude Bad Batch, we'll yeah. have to talk about Fives. That later. Is, or I would say Fives is my best like main character or like significant clone character, and my favorite side character is, is Hard Case. Okay, like, okay. I think Hard Case so, is a great story. I, yeah. I like Gregor just because he's squirrely. When, when I don't even remember him. Gregor he's is the Gregor clone like he's commando, the commando who gets left really behind. Get. He gets he's the clone commando who loses his memory and then like the the cook. The, oh oh oh! In the in the void episodes, right? Yeah. 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 He's got a yeah, but see. But he's squirrely. He's squirrely. That's why yeah. I like him. I do I do like that arc. He's but better. Again, he's I like him more enough for me to be like I love so, him. Like I said, he's my favorite clone. I didn't say he was the best clone. The best clone is obviously Rex. You can't argue that. Um, well, Julian's are gonna argue it because like, no, Julian Fives doesn't get obviously to like He's the best. Julian because doesn't get to argue it. Fives has to go through a, an arc that's very similar to what what Ahsoka has to go through. That, that's yeah. why yeah. I love him. It's, yeah, and it's like can you expect no, I agree. It from a main character. You don't expect that arc from a clone. Yeah, and I just watched that recently, and yeah. again because again, I'm like way behind the times on this, and so when I watch that Fives arc, I'm like. This is better than just about almost. I want to know why. It's heartbreaking because you know it has to end bad. But there's a you know spark. How bad I think it has there's to a end spark that he wins. Still it. so good vibes. Because... Think about this. I always like. I like to think about it, that arc like this because again, some of these arcs like I don't like to watch the Ahsoka like arc where she like because it's sad. Like yeah. it's it's literally like it makes me sad to watch and I don't want to always go that. The same thing with the Echo one. But for the Echo one, I'm able to watch it more because he does all that and yeah, he doesn't save the Jedi, but he saves Ahsoka and Rex. Like his what the information well, he finds fives? out five fives. yeah fives five saves Ahsoka and Rex with the information that he eventually gets to Rex like in a roundabout way like yeah, and like, it's like all it's that like, did have a meaning so like they got away like heartbreaking is just how Anakin like, like saved Rich Ahsoka said, like, as well you know, oh my gosh you, that was so you good. know what's gonna happen like there's no way as soon as as soon as Tup is like. Going. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know you're like, there's no way that he's going to make it out of this. There's no way. And everything they do, and you're like, and they really mm -hmm. like, like you have to know as a fan going in that he's not, there's no way that Fives can get out of yeah, that story yeah. and get away with it. And you everything. love Fives by this point as well. You've already been through the Umbara arc. All oh the God, other dominoes are dead. Everything. So you have four episode arc of just dread for like one of your favorite characters in the show. Yeah. And you like, know it's not going to end well, well because it can't end well. No, I think course, the best like, depiction of this is it's a show... I, yeah, well, one, the cover up and the Zillow B stuff and all oh, that. And Zillow B stuff is cool too. The, oh, Zillow B stuff. You can cool. see just how taxing this war is on the clones. Yes, mm -hmm. three years, but war is hell. And you get to see it through fives. But, like, yeah. you get to see it that, like, like the one thing I know, like, enjoy about it is. I just, I just remembered the last line the five ever said. And I'm, oh like, my God. I'm like about to cry. What does oh, he say? He the says nightmare's the same thing. finally over. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's I'm like, like it's fucking devastating. Woo! All right, right, go ahead. So. <clears throat> that gets me. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it, it gets yeah. me too. Um, So, your most hated character in Cold Wars. Uh, five seconds. You get five seconds, name the name, and move I on. I have this written down. <sighs> I mean, 
Yeah, there's my some bad mo- ones here. <laughs> my <laughs> most hated <laughs> person from Clone Wars, I like <laughs> it's be just because I really don't like the arc. It's that doctor from the like the poison Naboo arc. Oh, doctor, what's his, what's his name? Oh yeah, <laughs> like, so like I didn't really stupid. care about it. Was it was like, a, I don't like, like Doctor Freeze. Yeah. Doctor- <laughs> I have the guy. All right, the poison. look up that guy's name. It's so fu- it's a funny ass name. Please look it up. I am the poison. <laughs> I am the poison. Look up Nabu, I am going to Nabu kill poison. <laughs> He's so Christian, who's your favorite? Or oh, my least favorite, favorite character. Most fuck. hated character. I don't. Do I hate anyone in this show? <laughs> the fucking Goldie. <laughs> R three. Yeah, the R three. Uh, literally, right, Julian. Or, or no, actually, Zero's girlfriend. <laughs> Zero the Hutt's girlfriend in that one episode. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Slice noodles or some shit. <laughs> There's All some right. bad rule 34 of that character. Some, <laughs> easy, <laughs> easy, easy. Julian. Um, the, oh my the, god. The, 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 Fucking little, yeah. the little guy from the, the, little guy. From, the, from, the, from, the from the void. The little chap, you know. He's that just guy. so like, annoying. Yeah, like, they just, I mean, it's just like, <laughs> shut. I literally, I want to take him. I just want to shoot the hell up. Like that's that's how you we want to kick him feel. across the galaxy. Yes, that's how he makes me feel. It's just Commander like, dude, Fox. do you hate the, the little guy uh, more, or do you Commander hate the Fox? the the, 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 your the least gear favorite? droid? The, the you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Because com- I do realize annoying. he's the head of the Coruscant Guard, right? Commander Fox. Yeah, Commander Fox. Mm. Oh, you hate him because of you. You're supposed to hate him though. Like no, he's but the like, designed. I, to hate. Like okay, so this is where I get into like the comics and stuff too. Like one. It's his fault that his clones attacked Vader. Yeah. Two, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Uh, and, like, he's just a terrible, terrible clone. Like, I get it. He's Republic Guard or um, Coruscant yeah. Guard and stuff like that. He's, so, nah, he's, he's a Ahsoka jackass. thing, too. So. The Ahsoka thing. Mm-hmm. And then you get them trying to fight Jocasta New in the Jedi Temple. And it's just like... Did he kill Fox? Vader killed Fox. No, Fives. Yes. Did, did Fox oh, yeah, kill and fives? he kills Fives. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He kills he Fives before and he gets the, the, words the Ahsoka out. thing. Like, yeah, it's like, wild. Commander Fox... <laughs> He's so if close you're to watching this, action. you're a jackass. Yeah, um, though I think Vader killed you. Okay, I mean, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seriously, I think he pushed you out of a Gaskin? gun ship. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Colonel Gaskin is that it? Gaskin, yeah. The the little dude the dead. little dwarf oh, guy. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Hates that's it. Colonel, Colonel Gaskin. Gaskin. <laughs> that guy. All right, so Jack, you got two minutes to tell me why you how you feel about it ending and how it ended. So I have two answers because originally it ended. Yeah, once. the first ending and then the second ending. So I was very upset when it ended the first time. Like, I was actually very upset with Disney when they bought it and canceled the show because, like, I was in love with that show. Mm-hmm. And, like, I was even more upset because they started Rebels, and Rebels at first was really bad. Yeah, you needed to grow on Rebels. Oh, look, we've been rewatching, and Rebels is better. It's not as bad the second it's, time. It's not as bad the second time once you know where it's going. The, like, first, but, the first season. The first season, the first season is, is okay. always going to be what it is. We're not talking about Rebels, though. Yeah. Focus mm-hmm. on Clone Wars. But, like, well, that's it influences my answer because, like, Disney bought it and canceled the show and then started Rebels, and I was like, I was really upset when that happened. But then they brought it back because they made some dicey decisions with movies. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the apology tour is what I call it. But um, And, see, like, the season seven's ending is just so good. Like, ignoring the entire arc, and, like, just the last shot of Vader in the snow. Mm. And you see, like, Morai circling above him as he holds Ahsoka's lightsaber. Like, that's just it such the rebel a so beautiful, well too, but, yeah. like, way to end a mm-hmm. show. One one thing I just had to look it up. Fucking Clovis. Clovis. Oh, yeah. Clovis. Seriously, Clovis. dude. Clovis. Hate that guy. Yeah. Clovis. The guy that the fucking Padme's Padme, ex- he's like boyfriend. Padme's ex-boyfriend. That Anakin like, God, what up, <laughs> That's a great bag. scene where Anakin just beats I the fuck out of him. It's like a former dude, senator. And Anakin walks in and he's like, <laughs> Some, uh, 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 an assailant came in. <laughs> Clovis. What a I, I forgot bag. about him. Yeah. Fucking Clovis. Um, <laughs> Clovis. That's, th- that should be the hashtag when we talk about this episode. Hashtag it, fucking Clovis. It's such Clovis. a bad name, too. It's Clovis. Like, like, let's think of... It was, isn't it like, it's uh, Rush Clovis. Is yeah, it like, like, like Rush Clovis. Names, like, a guy went to Harvard, right? He's yeah, like exactly. a... He's, like, <laughs> he's a frat boy yeah. in Denver. He's, like, yeah, a, he's like, yeah. like the fourth yeah. generation oh, oh, of Clovis. Dude, look over there. It's my Harvard. girlfriend Padme, yeah. dude. Oh, that's what he reminds me of. Why right. did you just become Crush the Turtle? Dude, that was the joke. What's up? It's not frat boy. That's frat boy Clovis, dude. How did you feel about Clovis? Yeah, so, Julian, how do you feel about how it ended? About how it ended. Yeah, about how it ended. I mean, I think that the the final four episodes of Clone Wars are about as perfect Star Wars as you can get. Um, like I don't know, I don't think there's anything bad in any of those episodes. 
Like, I think there's not a moment wasted. I think it's, like, if you watch it as a movie by itself, it might be, like, top three Star Wars things ever, movie-wise. Uh, and then not that it closes off, like, all the main, like, overarching arcs, the Mandalore arc, the Maul arc, which is obviously a little bit intertwined, Ahsoka's arc, the clones. Like, it, it encompasses it all. I just... Um, and you even get, like, a little bit of Obi-Wan. Like, you don't get too much, but you get a, a, enough. You get, like, that last moment of, like, Anakin and, o- and Ahsoka being together, and... Yeah, the last moment of like our Anakin being there, like good kind of before, but good Anakin because like once Dooku's, once once the Dooku thing happens, it's kind of no turning back, and you know that, and that's a happy moment that you they got to say goodbye, but it's like a sad moment because the next time they see each other, they're going to literally they're fight. Julia, it's it's it's. it's, it's <sighs> like it's both devastating I and the, beautiful. At the same I think thing. the last four episodes are perfect. And I would have added more. That would have, yeah. In the event that, uh, and what I mean is that the one thing I wanted was a scene where Obi-Wan contacts her and is like, don't, just don't come back. Mm -hmm. Just fucking leave. Like, I just wanted that. I still he, think there's opportunity for that moment to happen like at there's, some point. Like, there's, there's, the, there's the, obviously the moment where she gets the transmission and he goes, this is Jedi General Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Jedi Order has fallen. I wanted a personal moment where he calls her and says, and, like, I wanted to hear Obi-Wan say the words to her, Anakin's gone. I wanted that. Anakin's and, dead. And, and I, like, not that he's dead, but that, like, He's, he's fallen he's in the dark fallen. side. Well, I wanted that moment. I, would, I think I would rather have him tell Ahsoka that Anakin's dead because in Rebels she thinks that Anakin's dead. Yeah. Or yeah, or a moment, a moment where 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 he, where she, maybe she contacts him and says, "What's going on? Like I want to know, like what's what's yeah. going on?" And he just can't they, muster they up the it, courage to tell her Palpatine what really also happened. Uses Anakin's death because Anakin is the most popular. Um, yeah, he uses by, on that. purpose too, because Palpatine and, does manipulates the media yeah. to make Anakin the most popular Jedi in the Order, and then he has it where like basically Anakin's the only one who stood up to the plot of the Jedi, and they they killed him. And so, yeah, like, so and he's I, a martyr I as well. I wish I would have. I wish there would have been a yeah, there moment. More, just the, I just wish there was one, even mm-hmm. if it was one scene, and it was three lines of just the two of them, and the, he calls her, and she is like, "Tell me what's going on, so I can do what I have to do and do what I always do. I've got Rex here. We're good. What? Like, tell me what's going on." And he just can't. He just can't do it. So I wanted that. The fir- Other than that, it's perfect. Yeah, I was late. To, sorry. Yeah. I was late to the game, watching Clone Wars. I didn't watch Clone Wars until it was on Netflix. Mm. Um, and <laughs> well, because the cartoons really didn't have interest to me. I was like, if it's not, um. It's a fairly common yeah. like reaction yeah. to Star Wars. But fans. then I'm glad I got into it. Mm-hmm. So when I watched it the first time, I'm like, this can't be how it ends. <laughs> There's no way. This can't be how it ends. There's so much left unanswered. You have no idea the pain that I went through when they canceled the show and I was like, it ended like that. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's kind of how I felt. And I'm like, but I did like the fact that Yoda learned how to become a force ghost and all this. And I'm like, that's great and all, but yo, y'all left us high and dry. Mm-hmm. It wasn't and then it- with when they really when they announced that they were doing season seven, oh, I was like, yes. The Jamie, reaction to that at Star Wars Celebration, wherever they put it out, is like one of the most insane that things. Tra- like that ever. trailer with the updated uh, animation, mm-hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. Jamie told me that I needed to like calm it down at the time with Star Wars. I'm like, no, no. This is what's going on. I'm doing this. I'm watching this. So, and then coming with the Siege of Mandalore, and you get to see Maul, and you get to see the fact that they're breaking out old Mandalore tech from when the Mandalorian the Wars happened. Yeah, like the, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Like, yes. cool, yeah. And the fact that you get to see that it doesn't the seem Maul like it, but seen. Maul was still in power for so long after no, losing. He was in, he was, yeah, he was in Mandalore is, for a while. This is why I say it doesn't feel like three years. Yeah. And so they have to, like, like that whole whole arc even of just him being in powers feels like three years it was I mean, like eight ridiculous. months ridiculous mm-hmm. yeah. it's eight months but it doesn't feel like it It feels like he's been there forever i have one thing and this is totally sidelined but this i have one complaint about the entire season seven season seven is great i like the story arcs or whatever i have one problem which is that the animation for anakin's hair is fucking stupid 
<laughs> like, I'm Ooh. sorry, but it just was so what, it's like, Isn't that the episode three here? Ba- or it is, but it's so bad. Whatever. Like, fucking give them the fucking ep- season three. Don't be three. a toxic fan, Julian. I'm not being toxic. I'm picking They're apart just trying to show, like, things the, like that. The no, like, I know. And they right are trying to show the progression, like, but the, it's like, if you're going to do, like, an animation like that, it just looks like a big, like, wob thing that's yeah. glob yeah. that's sitting on his head. I anyway. have to say, I'm a little disappointed that one thing hasn't been mentioned. I mean, there's so much. There's one character that said not we said four Hondo. of you have not said. Oh, no, somebody said oh. Hondo. Nobody said Cad Bane. Bane. Go. I was getting Cad Bane. We were, Nobody I was gonna said get there. Cad Bane. I was going to get there. And I got to say, I watched Cad Bane when you were the best watching. The show. They were watching Clone Wars the first time. So I have no idea when that's first time. I have no idea what year it was. Such and I walk Earth into the room. And I was watching those two episodes the first time Cad Bane shows up and the first time I introduce him. And I look at it and I'm like, that's Angel Eyes from Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Yep. So the, the Filoni's... That, that knowledge of that, that, well. that knowledge of quality filmmaking to bring that that the, that the that that's Levon Cleave character aesthetic into Star Wars, and again him kind of the bounty hunter, which is really what all Levon Cleave is in the Good, Bad, and the Ugly. I just love that that, and I thought that's just a great, so such an amazing amazing character. character. So as it ends, you know, you get to see all these things, and I'm like. I feel more satisfied with the ending, but then you get to see more Order sixty six stuff play out, yeah. and you get there's to been see... a renaissance in Order sixty six oh. stuff over oh, the last God. like three or four years. They've I don't like, know if and all of them are better than Episode three. Dave Dave is just <laughs> all like, of them are better than what we actually got in the movie. Dave Filoni says, how, "How many times can we make Star Wars fans cry in the video game? In like because they do it in like Fallen Order, and that's a Which that's one of the best, probably the second best one after Ahsoka. Favorite. No spoilers. I haven't played the game. I oh, know that they reference it, but yeah. I have Hold not played the game. No, you know what, Julian." You're too late. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't, don't, let please. Him have his no, let, let him have, have the game. Moment. You're I too will, late. I will play it tonight. <laughs> All right. So that being said, though, catch us on our stream on Twitch because, uh, yeah. I'm you, you're playing, playing without a mic, though. I have a mic and a webcam, so you if got, you want to see you me play I have a mic, and I have got, a webcam, a and I have a ring one. light, and I have a big oh, nice. 52-inch TV that I play on because he's, I'm a nerd. He's <laughs> upgraded his setup. All right. Um, All right. But I went and bought a 1080p webcam last night. Thank you. Nice. So if y'all are interested, come check me out on Twitch under the 716th Attack Legion. Uh, we will all be sharing the password and stuff, so you get to pick who you guys want to see the most, and uh, let us know. So if you want to see me and Jack play Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. <laughs> Heck yeah! We can anyway, set that up in continue. here too. But yeah, definitely. Um, I just want to point out, though, that the way that the Clone Wars ended still left me unsatisfied. What? And like, what I want end? more. It was so oh, good. Oh, you mean you want more content? I want more. To be fair, I think. Oh, oh more I, content. So you're not unsatisfied. Oh, you not just, with the story. No, want, I just want more. You just want to be spoiled. Dude, if, oh, I think, yeah. I don't think I think we're rapidly. Ap- me, I think we're rapidly approaching. Um, Live something live action Clone Wars wise. I think, I, think, I, think, I, I think they have a chance. Ahsoka, Ahsoka is Ahsoka. going Ahsoka. to be live action. That's, that's going, going to be live, live action. We're, Clone Wars. we're going to get flashbacks of of again. They've they've casted a younger yeah. actress who like was from House of the Dragon, if I remember correctly. Uh, like one, of, she was the the in between Valerian girl, the Valena. Like, no yeah, shit. she's playing young Ahsoka, and she's like the age of Ahsoka during like Siege of Mandalore, basically. So we might even get like flashbacks to that. So like Amanda Sten. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Amanda Sten. Yeah. Uh, look, but uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't even know where I was going. I now, can't but. wait. No, I. Oh my god. Yes, I, I would wait. love to see a live action Clone Wars. I think they movie, can. I think TV they can show, invent a movie. Jedi. They can invent a Padawan. They can invent a clone commander and do the last year of the war. Yo, I'm odd best. Ahmad Best was amazing. We didn't As, talk about that in the Mando episode. Oh my I, god, I, I, I wanted, forgot. I wanted to bring it up, but then we were like, yeah, we're going to go. Time. Yeah, yeah, we, were we, we were running low on time. Ahmad Best, to follow him through the Clone Wars. I know he trains the kids Master, and stuff like that. Oh, that but like, I, don't Kellyan, mm-hmm. I don't care enough. I don't care enough about the character. Yeah, I'm I need, he got a guy. Moment. I, I want care. a guy on, That's the, all I on the battlefield. I love, I love that they... T- I want one a guy of, like on the front lines. One like, of I Dave, want like live action front lines Clone Wars. One like, of that, Dave that, like, like season. best best traits is that he picks characters just like obscurely, obscurely, mm-hmm. and makes them so good. So like, there's ten thousand Jedi in the galaxy during the Clone Wars, so, and exactly. he picks Pick one, and he Pick one. picks mm-hmm. the one character from a TV show that Disney aired in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> but it was still amazing. Yeah. Well. First of all, what was he? In? Ahmad, so Best Ahmad Best. It was like a weird. Like, a, like, I, a I have a pitch for you for the show that they. Showed. Ahmad, Ahmad Best hosted a, which like would a young solve what you guys. It was kind of like American Ninja Warrior, but for like little kids, and they it was were called like the Jedi, Jedi Trials. Yeah, the yeah. Jedi Trials. They brought the droid in that, um, 
the saber making droid that was voiced by David Tennant. Oh, Hugh Yang from from Ilum when they were doing that. Uh, the oh, Ilum yeah, art. Yeah, that's a great yeah, character yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. They brought him in. They brought in an astromech, and it was so a mod like best a, hosting. Like a real thing. Yeah, and like, the kids got the design. It was, design like a, live action, like it was a live. It was a live action Disney show on YouTube that a mod best um, hosted. The kids like got to design thing. their own Galaxy's Edge lightsabers. And they had to go through the trials to get the crystals and the parts That's and sick. stuff like that. Yeah. And at the end, they go into the temple, and it was like Legends of the Hidden Temple mixed with American Ninja Warrior. It was just oh, I watched every episode. And so it was Keller amazing. And Beck is from that, yes, yeah, because yeah. I didn't understand where he was coming from. Yeah, yes. like he had got that role, and then they kind of canonized him. Yeah, with the I love that. Thing. Yeah. That's it's great. Very nice, well, yeah. actually, he was canon before that because he's actually in as a background character. That is true, actually. Yeah, mm-hmm. in episode three, oh, he's, yeah, he's just not the Jedi Amid briefing. Best, obviously, is he's he Amid al- best, actually? He's or also no. in oh, episode yeah, right. two, and I like to believe that he's an undercover Jedi just in oh, the bar. In the bar <laughs> scene from episode two. That's funny. Anyway, but like in the Anthony Daniels. But see, my thing is like okay. I like that. They gave him his moment. We got the character. Yeah, I don't, I don't need series. to see a whole show. They're going to explore think, more I, with him. Yeah, I think that I he's going to so. be. No, I think, I think we're going to see. I think like, he's going to be we'll more of him. Yeah, we'll see the flashback with I'm him. I'm telling you, I have the solution to this. All right, oh, yeah, you go, go ahead. Go shoot. ahead. Because there's so many things that are unanswered or that we need more stuff on. Just do Tales of the Clones. So you had Tales of the Jedi and then do some of these stories that you could do as because you don't need like whole shows about all of this there's just no way they're going to do that at this point they got so many other things they're doing so if they did like episode things like they did in tales of the jedi but do tales of the clones and sometimes then like you can do the them Sith all over the place and you can fill cool. in a bunch of these blanks that a lot of you guys like want to see tales of the jedi was not enough for me no but i, I feel like you're going to get more sure, tales of the jedi yeah. 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 So they'll let you tales basically. of the clones too because i feel like that would fill a lot of gaps that arc with ahsoka like anakin training ahsoka for that moment, I yeah, just that was saved, anyway, like so Anakin saying, we're still saved talking about Clone Wars. From Order so oh I just God. wanted more content. That's, yeah, I that's, mean, I enjoyed I the show that, that, that much. very, very, very understandable. Like they could have easily continued, like, like doing more seasons. Uh, I want to see. I wanted to see more Kit Fisto. The show's released out of order for God's sake. Kuhn. Like, well, you get it. They were only approved for one season. I get yeah, it. And I then understand it why. I think it but, was just so that we could have the wrap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was kind of. I'm so, just happy we bullied them into bringing back the art style. So, like, <laughs> yes. I'm, I, I'm not going to complain. Like, I Bad Batch is the same Rebels art style. At least, like, I like. I don't. I, I grow on me. Don't get me wrong. But I'm it just did happy. Not I grow on me. Like, Am I the only one who liked the art style from Rebels? Yeah. I know. I, I don't think there's anything nope. wrong with the art style from Rebels. I think. But I think I hated it. First of all, I like that they created a whole race. The hair looks bad, yeah. particularly. Under- I like that they created a whole race around the concept of Ralph McQuarrie's. Yeah, the Lasat. Yeah, the Lasat. I love you the Lasat. Chopper, who was Don't supposed me- to be the original R two. Mm-hmm. Don't get like, me wrong, I love Rebels, but like the the animation just like was not good. It gets better towards the end. It does. Yeah, it the, the first second, the yeah. first season, the clone troopers look like the the plushy clone trooper that Jin Erso has in the beginning of fucking... It's because they're not clone troopers. Rogue... Storm troopers. Or storm troopers. Yeah. The so... storm troopers look like the plushies that they have in the like, beginning of Rogue One. I the... mean, they look terrible. The person that stands out most to me is Bo-Katan. Like... She yeah. looks yeah, rebels. She looks so terrible. bad. Yeah, she, yeah. Does, she looks off, but but also like these. Like, Soka looks horrible. Her eyes are like down here. I don't think Soka looks that. Bad. I think she's she's like she just she looks a little bit off. But yeah, she's like a stick. Anyway. So aside from the animation style, the look, story's good. Yeah. Yeah. Clone Wars. I love Rebels. There's so much to talk about when it comes to Clone Wars. There's so many yeah. arcs. Real quick, quick theory here. We see the armorer from Mando in Clone Wars. You're in the wrong episode here, buddy. I, I'm making no, the she's point to connect linking to Clone Wars. Yeah. When? She is Death Watch. I and don't think she is. She no, is. No, that's a theory that she, you know, like, you know, I'm going to get, you can, you can finish, said. yeah. Mm-hmm. I no, know where you're they, going. They said that, like, the actress who did the voicing voiced on Clone Wars mm-hmm. for the same, just a gener- general, but it's inadvertently the same character? I think that there's, there's but, similarities, like, because obviously she was with Death Watch on um, Corvus, right? That's the moon? Yeah. What, Bo? No, the oh, armorer. Yeah, the armor. well, 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 the idea is you're talking about the one female Mando, like Super Commando Mando that we see. In no, there's another the one. Siege of Mando. Oh, okay. She's a dark-haired brunette. It's she's a background oh, okay. Mando. I, my, but my point is, going into the Clone Wars with the Mandalorian stuff, um, I really like that you see Maul come into Mandalore. He's the last Mandalorian. 
to um, win the Dark Dark Saber by trial by combat. I wouldn't consider. Oh, we haven't even talked about Pre Vizsla yet. No, he but the, but he's. I didn't say he was a Mandalorian. You did you said he's the last Mandalorian? To I did win. say he was the last. I said I said I did. He's the last person you to did. win I'm combat drinking. that we've seen. Guys, sorry, uh, my mind's not working again. Um, he's the last person to come in and challenge the Mandalorians for the dark saber to rule Mandalore. And technically, he does become a Mandalorian because he wins the dark saber in combat. So you're wrong, Jack. I don't. Well, they don't. Go ahead, Julian. He's the leader of the Mandalorians. Yes. <laughs> Just looking it up, Emily Swallow never voiced a character in Clone Wars. Are you sure? Hundred percent. Yeah, I don't think she ever did. I think the idea is that she might be playing that one character you're mentioning, the purple-haired character, the purple, the purple and black haired character. That's been the theory. I don't even know if that theory is going to be right. There's also another theory is. that she's Bo-Katan's sister, but because Bo-Katan does have a sister, I don't want to play into theories like that. Ever the armor revealed. is the armor. I don't mom think the ar- but the armor the sister. to me. There's, like, the armorer's character, and this is kind of throwing it to Mandalorian, but I guess it plays into Clone Wars and the fact that, like, the armor is so die-hard strict on the rules that, like, yeah. and they don't give her enough screen time or enough character development in Mandalorian to... I think they're to, trying to soften her a bit this season. Like, I mean, they're giving her a little bit more this season. Obviously, her and Bo-Katan are building a relationship, but, like, if they... There's not enough there for them to be like, hey, plot twist, she was Death Watch. Because yeah. if they do that, if they went with that, to me it would be like, that's like a story arc that they just threw out of left field yeah. just to have something for her. I think that she has to be at so, like somewhat connected to um, Death are. Watch because they Death Watch is the, the team that saved Din. So you want to know? Oh, I'm sorry. You I like the uh, what I was going, but yes. I want, but I think she could be her own thing. She yeah. could be the yeah, armor be new, that was just she making could. armor for everybody. She made it for Death Watch. She made it for everybody. The night out. So know? and wh- that's yeah. where I'm going with with this whole train of thought. Okay, is that we get to see the connections and how Clone Wars really does connect a lot of these offshoot mm-hmm. things. Dex we dots. get. Mandalorian, you get to see the B2s in live action, like real B2s, not the CGI B2s, mm-hmm. in live action during the Clone Wars with the Mandalorian. Love it. You get to see the horns on the armorer's helmet, which allude, alludes to, yeah. to that she follows Maul, yeah. which goes back to Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. And you get to see how ingrained actual Clone Wars stuff is ingrained into the Mandalorian culture. Yeah. And you get to see how everything ties together. That's why I like Clone Wars so much, and there's so much to talk about in regards to Clone Wars. Yeah. Let's, let me just say, like, I have a list of just, like, popular characters that were literally just introduced in Clone Wars that are, like, towards the top of so many people's, like, this was just all in the show. Like, Ahsoka, Bo-Katan, Asajj Ventress, we haven't even talked about her yet, Satine Kryze, uh, Mother Talzin, Pong Krell, Hondo Onaka, Pre Vizsla, the best non force sensitive lightsaber user in canon. Uh like Embo, Captain Rex, Fives. You're Echo, saying he's better bitch. than Ray? Yeah. <laughs> he said non force user. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, You're saying he's user. better than Finn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's shocking. The Mortis Gods, the Force Priestess, Saw Guerrera, Lux Bonteri, ninety nine, Chams and Dula, Hugh Yang, Gregor, uh most of the named clones, <laughs> commando droids in general. Like, yeah. like, like tactical droids. I love the just the standard B one battle droids. Dude, so I, unironically, the B one battle droids as the comedic relief are like amazing. And guess, and we have one clip from the next episode of Mando, and it's uh the droid bar. And I, I have, I, have I, I, I don't watch any of that. Okay, stuff. my bad. Well, either way, like, uh, I, I let am, every show be a surprise. Mm-hmm. I if well, I if if the B one show up at some point in the I'm future of the show, <laughs> I assume they're going to be like. Oh the, my god! I, I hope to God they're Clone Wars voice B ones <laughs> in live action. Well, I guess I'm like, the commander imagine now. The, I will I will die laughing. I will like well, <laughs> on a, like now, I, guess I don't I'm care how bad the, now. I don't care how bad the joke oh, is. I want it to be as bad as possible. Right. Like it, it is think, so I think good. they should paint like, one red, white and blue and call him Steve Roger Rogers. <laughs> Steve, Steve Roger Rogers. <laughs> Roger Roger. Um so the Queen. Look. <laughs> 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 The <laughs> you make a good point, yeah. which is that Clone Wars broke the mold and introduced so much, good so stuff, yeah. much 
so much stuff. It There's really so expanded many characters the universe. And it really, I mean, those aren't in the same like sphere at all. Either. Like one of them, one's a witch, one of them's a pirate, one of them's like a droid. One of them, yeah, like, and it's, the fact like, that it's they, they brought in a lot more than just the force. Mm-hmm. I mean, they th- brought in like aliens that have magical powers and that are not the force. Like it's yeah, like the well, death, the death uh, in your magic. It's yeah. technically it's an like an aspect of the I mean, force. It's an aspect of the force. It's not the same thing. No, it's like an adaptation of the force. Yeah. We're like on a different planet. They used to like they f- almost used whatever like they had their bodies adapted to use the yeah. force in a different way. Like it's kind I of what just the mad that we didn't get to see any chess. Can it, what? Yeah, interesting. Any, uh, chess? any chess? actually, there is that one. Le- there is that one legend chess? story chess? with like what's it called? The outbound flight. Chess is the race of that Thrawn is. Oh, oh, there was going to be because oh there was going to be an arc. Because again, there's a thing where Vader and there's a there's a book where Vader and Thrawn uh is and Anakin and Thrawn meet and that would have been cool like, yeah so for Wars. those interested in delving deeper into the Clone War side and like me with the Chiss mm-hmm. um if you go look up the Thrawn trilogy the new canon Thrawn trilogy not the heir to the Empire trilogy yeah where they're going after the Katana fleet um there is so much stuff in there where you actually get to hear about Batu and Black Spire and everything like that. But Jack, real quick, you had something to say? About Did chess? I? No. You raised you raise your hand. Uh, I was scratching my back. Oh, my bad. Oh, okay. okay, so <laughs> the, Thrawn, the Thrawn books are amazing. I listened to them and read them just because, you know, voices. Mm-hmm. Um, can't can't read and drive at the same time. But if if you're interested in those, definitely... Check those out. Um, I can't. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Oh, okay, Jack, go ahead. But it wasn't about the chist. It was about Christian's um, List. point. And, like, I was going to say, that's why it was so hard for me to pick. If like, even choose, the top like, three. Because, like, there's literally so many characters that are so good in this show. Like, I couldn't make a top. Like, I could probably make a top three if I really wanted to, but, like, I don't want to. Like, I like all of the characters. Yeah, it's like every time you think you'd have three, you'd remember a fourth guy. Yeah. Like, how can I not pick him? Like, like imagine, like, how am I supposed to pick between, like, Fives, Hondo, yeah, how Anakin, can I... Ahsoka, like, Rex? Like, how am I supposed to pick which were, like, like Vizsla? Savage like, Press. Like, Savage, like, Yeah, we, 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 we literally... Like, how am I supposed to make three out of that? Like, what am I... Like, that's not possible. And the possible. thing is, too, they introduce all of these characters, and there's so many of them, and you really... I mean, they're so easy to follow, too. Yeah. You introduce so many characters over the course of seven seasons, and it's not not difficult to follow. The plot of the story is so easy. Mm-hmm. And you get attached to these characters. They like, do they do do some stupid <laughs> mistakes that were unintentional. Dude, that's the second time you've laughed at that. But they make they make it mistakes is. that are unintentionally like so like obviously killing um what is the guy's name? They killed the one he was a senator. Um Anno you oh, know, when, yeah. they, when they kill him off and then, like, a season later, he's just in an episode and he's perfectly <laughs> fine. And so then they have to, like, retcon that and well, say be, that well, it was time. to be fair, time... is that one of those weird... Because the first couple seasons it's all of out of order. The, are, like, weirdly out of order. But the, I don't think they were... Uh, but uh, and so this is the thing, is that they'll say, oh, we did it on purpose and it was out of order on purpose. But... I think it is. I don't think I, so. I think it really... No, I it's think an like, anthology series. The so, like, biggest... No, the biggest... Whatever, the, right? No, yeah. no, no. Because the first season follows a plot line. Uh, guys, guys. No, the there's first an, season's not in there's, order. There's an actual, like... Like, they there's came out with a down list of, it, of, like... But I doubt... Watched, but I doubt... Like, but I but I'm thinking, like, when they wrote that, I doubt they... You know what I mean? I, I doubt that they were, like... I don't know like, if they okay, had, we'll like, the purpose. first story, like, done, but, like, I think they... with The way they write them usually work well within, like, whatever... Yeah, I mean, it Because, like, because remember, like, the first episode of... The technical first episode of the Domino Squad arc, which I think might be the earliest episode. It's, um... um no. no, it's the... It's the... Season it's the three stealth, episode... It's the stealth Season three, episode. episode one, which is when they're all in training. Yeah, yeah is that the first one? It's the episode... Yeah, well, that's the Season three, episode when you one get introduced called Arc Troopers. No, you get... Introduced to them when they're on the out, Rishi Moon outpost. That's no, 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 get, no, no, no. No, we're talking about like when they're in that's training. The first, that is, no, no, he's right. That is the first time that's you the, meet them in meet like Domino Squad. Like, that's the, the first time, time an episode airs with the Domino Squad. But there is technically an earlier episode the in episode the canon that takes place of them training. before that is season three oh, yeah. episode. Yeah, one, but that's which, but is, that's when, a, it, which is when they lose seasons later. That episode that you're talking about is in season one and is the main. But that's when they lose heavy. But that episode works because the whole episode's a flashback, and then at the very end of it, they flash to modern times where they all get promoted. Yep. So, so it's like, that's yeah. okay because it's a flashback. Yeah. It's not like um, true, purposely yeah. out of the timeline. Look, we can talk about Clone Wars, again, like everything we do mm-hmm. for days. And I know I'm repeating everything I say in every episode. Yeah. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start 
a Patreon page to discuss an after show thing uh, where you guys can keep up and watch and listen. My pockets are not going to like me. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing more, please let us know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Check us out on Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, am I forgetting anything else? Be- America be- Online. What? <laughs> <laughs> AOL Instant Messenger. Yeah. Oh, um, shit. Bing. Quibi. Bing. Ask, they Bing. tried to revamp it. Ask Mozilla Jeeves. Firefox. <laughs> Ask Jeeves. Um, Internet Explorer. <laughs> Uh, what, and, was, um, what was the one with the short ones? That was the. I don't know. What? Oh, no, it's gone. Uh, it was green. It's gone. The logo was green. Did you mention our uh, our What's Safari? Safari? Orders? What's up? Safari. What's up? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, if you guys are Truth interested, Truth Social. Though, Find us follow on Meet us on Me. Truth. On Gab. Bumble, on Tinder, ChristianPeopleMeet.com. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jack's on Tinder. FarmersMeet.com. Farmers <laughs> 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 Listen, me if you guys <laughs> want. You guys want to follow <laughs> us? This is what I look like from behind. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are terrible. All right, listen. Feet, dot B-I-C-B-P <laughs> dot radio, B-I-C-B-P radio dot com, Spotify, Twitch, TikTok, Facebook. Check us all out on there, YouTube. Question of the day. Julian, hit us with it. Question of the day. What's your... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Christian's just showing I Jack his him off armor's on. And he set him off on purpose. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, question. <laughs> question of the day. That's <laughs> yeah, fucking crazy. If you could be a clone in any Legion in the show, that's <clears throat> like any any of the yeah. numbers, 501st, all, all of them, anyone you could choose, which Jedi... Would you choose to follow in the Clone Wars? I want to know which Jedi you would choose to follow in the Clone Wars. Hopefully, it's not Ponkrell, because that's <laughs> no. on you. you we'll die? also be using. If you want to die, if you want to die, then you should. If you want to die, no. But let us know which Jedi you would follow in the Clone Wars. Uh, um, and what Legion you would belong to? I can't answer that. That's a. Um, listen, we're gonna be using Q and A on TikTok as well, so we'll check them out there. Um, and let us know. What kind of things that you're looking for merch wise, and uh, we'll be able to provide it. And if your answer is not the seven sixteenth, you're wrong. <laughs> and always, as always, may the force be with you all, and stay safe, and have a great day. Bye. That was the worst wave.